All right, guys, today I am going to walk you through um, the process of creating your infographic for this week's assignment, which is to create an argumentative infographic um, convincing your viewer or reader why your location of choice is the best place for a vacation. All right, so let's get started right away. You're gonna go to pictochart.com and you're gonna click on the center button here that says start for free. Once you click on that, it's going to ask you to create a username and password. Um, so um, your username should just be your SN number. Your email, I would recommend using your school email. If you don't know your school email, it is your first name dot your last name at kent.k12.wa.us. Again, it is your full first name dot last name at kent.k12.wa.us. And then just make your password the same password that you use to log into your computer. Um, and then make sure you unclick this button here that says subscribe to newsletters so that you don't get any spam. After you do that, click create account and it will direct you to go to your email. If you decide to use a, your normal um, at home email account, that is fine. But you're going to go to your email, your school email, find the email from PictoChart and click confirm my email. And that should take you back to the site. All right, so I'm gonna log in differently because I already have an account. Okay. All right. So once you sign in, um, I already have an account, but it's gonna ask you for your first and last name, and then it's gonna ask you if you're a teacher or a student, so you're just gonna answer those questions, and then we'll take you to this screen. So on the left, you will see three choices, infographic, presentation, or printable. You're going to want to click infographic, and that is going to take you to several layouts or formats to choose for your infographic. Um, so don't choose the one that you like the best based on the color or the pictures because you are going to change all of the colors in the pictures. So you just want to pick the one that's organized the easiest or the best. I would recommend one of these three in the second row here. This business basic, startup basic, or education basic. Any of these three um, that say that have subtitles are going to be a good option for this project. I'm going to pick this orange one. Um, but again, you can pick the one that you think will work best for you. And it's going to pull up the um, layout. Now I'm going to change all the colors and pictures, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, what you will notice as you scroll through is there are several different sections. Each section that I highlight in black here is, its, is a separate section of the graphic. Okay, so you see this section here, this section here, here, and here. Each of these sections basically represents a paragraph of an essay. So this very top section would be your essential question or your topic of your paper. This section here would be your main claim or your answer to that question. This section here that says subtitle of topic, this would be your subclaim and your evidence. Um, we're not going to have reasoning in this assignment. Then again, your, this section here would be your second subclaim and evidence and so on, okay? So we're just gonna work on one section at a time. So I'm gonna start with this top section. So to start working on a section, you just click on that section and you will see this bar on the left. This indicates which section you are on. Right now I'm on section one, so it says one. Um, so to alter your section, you have some choices on the left side, okay? You have graphics at the top, which is where you can insert pictures into your infographic. I would recommend mainly doing icons. Um, uploads, we're not really gonna use for this project, so you can ignore that one. 
You have background. You can change the color and design of your background. Text is if you need to add any text. I don't think most of the layouts you're going to need to add more text, but if you do, you can go here. And then the bottom one is tools, and I will show you tools in a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to do is just change what it says. So in order to change um, the text, you just double click and you can write your topic. So I'm going to write the essential question, where is the best vacation destination? Okay. If you would prefer to make this more of a statement instead of a question, you can. You could say the best vacation destination if you prefer. Um, so there I have my first section. I have my title. Now up at the top here you have some options for your text. You can change the color of your text. So you just click this little paint bucket and you can change the color. I'm going to make mine blue. Um, you can change the font. If you click here, there are all these different font choices that you can pick from. And then you can change the font size as well. Um, so once you have the font and color that you like, you're going to want to change the background. This orange does not look good with the blue. Um, again, you are getting graded on the design of your infographic. So you don't want to just have random colors. You really need to pick a color scheme. Um, and I would pick a color scheme that goes with your location. You know, maybe look up your location's flag. Um, since my location is Washington State, I think I'm going to make my color scheme blue and green um, and maybe white. So maybe my three colors will be blue and green because that's the Seahawks and then maybe white will be my third color. So here now that I clicked on background, I have all these different background options. I can do lines, watermelon, um, any of these wallpapers. Now another word of caution. You don't want your background to be too loud or too busy and make your text difficult to read. You really want your um, infographic to be pleasing, appealing to the eye. You want the background to complement the words and you want your words to be readable. Okay, If, it, if you're having a hard time reading your words, um, that's probably not a good background. You don't want to make it too busy. Okay, so I think this background here is way too busy. Um, I want a more simple background. So I'm just going to go with a white background because that really lets my blue words stand out. All right. Um, now this part down here, I'm just going to delete. I don't really need additional words down there. But I do want to add a picture of some kind. And since Washington is the evergreen state, maybe I'll go up here to graphics and go to icons and maybe I'll add a picture of a tree because trees are really a uh, representative of Washington state. So I just click on the picture that I want and I can drag that there. Now this is really good. This picture is blue and green, which matches my color scheme. So I'm going to stick with this picture. All right. Once you're done with your top section, you're going to move on to section two. So click on section two, and now I'm on section two. And this is where I want to answer my question. Where is the best vacation destination? I'm going to double click to type, and I picked Washington State. All right, now this is not easy to read. It's very small, so I'm going to make my text bigger. Um, and also I need to make sure my colors match. You really want your color scheme to be consistent. You don't want to change your color scheme throughout the whole thing. It needs to have consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and make this green because my colors are white, green, and blue, and I'm going to try and stick with those colors. All right, and then down here, I could just delete this section because I don't really need to explain anything here. It's just my main claim. But I am going to add a little, it might be kind of fun if you just add something, uh, an interesting saying for your location. So I'm going to say the evergreen state. It might be fun to look up a common phrase or saying for the country or location. 
Um, like if you're doing Disneyland, you could write the happiest place on earth, or if you're doing Costa Rica, you could write Pura Vida. Um, so, you know, whatever is a common phrase of your location. And also this is very small. You wanna make sure your font is big enough for your reader to be able to see easily. All right, and then the last thing I wanna do is change the background to this section. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna make the background blue to match my scheme. All right, now there's this little tab here, the little three lines, and this allows you to make your section bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make it a little bigger because I wanna add a picture. Now, here's a really cool feature. If you go over to tools, you can add a video chart or map to your infographic. I would prefer that you do a map or a chart and avoid the videos because I do want to print some of these out. But I'm going to go to maps and you can look up your country. So if your country is India, for example, you can look it up and insert a picture of the country or location that you picked. Okay, so, but I picked Washington, so I need to type in the United States. Now I could just insert the map like this. However, um, Washington State is what I picked. So I didn't pick the entire United States as my vacation destination, just Washington State. So I need to go to edit this map and I can change the color of the map. So maybe I'll pick white as the color of my map. And then here's a really cool feature. You can click on just your section that you chose. So I'm gonna just click Washington and you can make that a different color so that it stands out. And then you can click insert map. And it will insert a picture here of your location. So, whoops. Can move that there and now I have the United States but mainly I have highlighted Washington State okay so now I'm going to scroll down to my third section click on it you'll notice now it says over here that I am on section three this is where you're going to write your subclaims okay where it says subtitle of topic these subclaims are the reasons why you think your location is the best vacation location so again, double click to change the words. I think my first, maybe my first section will be um, Washington has great city, whoops, has great city attractions. That's gonna be my first subclaim you want to make sure that your subclaim is a complete sentence. Okay, once I have that written, I want to, in this area, type my three examples, my three examples of city attractions. Here's a very important tip. Your entire section, okay, so this entire section here, um, section three, has to be about city attractions. I can't start giving examples that are different from city attractions, okay? So all my examples should have to do with Washington, Seattle's main city attractions, okay? So I'm gonna say um, Washington, uh, or maybe I'll say one um, great place to visit in the city is the Space Needle. The Space needle gives tourists a 360 degree view of the city and has a luxurious restaurant um, at the top. Okay, these are all facts that I looked up during my research, so you're going to want to use what you looked up during your research to do this part. If you didn't fill out your research yesterday, you're gonna need to do that before you can give your examples, okay? Then I'll say another great place to visit in the city is Pike Place Market. 
here you can explore the local food, or maybe I'll say taste, the local food and enjoy the local culture. You can also buy souvenirs here, um, souvenirs. I'll just leave it at that. All right. And then I do need to give a third reason that is part of the assignment. Each example needs three, uh, or each subclaim needs three examples. And I wanna make my writing as big as possible so that it's easy to read. Okay, so once I have my three examples, then I'm gonna wanna pick a picture over here that goes with my subclaim. So in this section, I talked about city attractions. So maybe I'm gonna go up here to graphics and to icons, and maybe I should look up a space meter. I'll look up Seattle, see if anything comes up. Awesome, I have a picture here of the space needle that I can add. Perfect. All right. Um, I also want to make sure that I change this orange color to match my color scheme. So maybe I'll make that green. All right, there we go. Now it matches. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to this second one. And actually, um, if you look over here on the left, you have some choices. You can delete different sections and you can add different sections. Um, so I'm actually gonna delete this section here because I really like this section here. I really like it because you can put your subtitle at the top or your subclaim, but then you can input three different pictures for each of your three examples. So I think that that's really cool. So I wanna use this one for my second box and I can always add another box later. Um, so I'm gonna start by changing the background. Again, I'm gonna do blue. All right. And my second subtitle is going to be, or my second subclaim is, there are many fun outdoor activities to do in Washington. Again, it needs to be a complete sentence, okay? And this whole section is about outdoor activities. So everything that I put in here needs to be about act, outdoor activities. All right, and I'm gonna change my colors to green. Okay, um, so then down here, I'm gonna put my three examples. So my first example is um, tourists, oh, double click. Tourists can go hiking at one of the many state or national parks. Maybe I'll add such as Mount Rainier or Olympic National Park. Um, my second example, um, tourists can go whale watching and see one of the three Orca families living in the harbor. And then for my third one, um, maybe I'll do tourists can go camping. Oh no, ooh, I'm gonna actually do skiing. Tourists can go skiing at one of the many um, snowy mountains in the state. Okay, so now I have my three different examples for the outdoor activities, and then I can just change my pictures to match each one. So the first one is hiking. Maybe I will just say 
forest for that one. So I don't think there's a picture of a man hiking. Okay, so I have the forest that you can go hiking in. Whale watching, I'm gonna look for a boat for that one. Perfect. And then skiing, let's see what they have for skiing. Awesome, okay. There we go, so it was cool because for this one, I was able to um, add in three different pictures for each of my three examples. Now the cool thing is if you have more than three examples, you can again pull this tab down and it lets you add even more, two more examples if you would like to do that. Um, but I'm just gonna stick with the three. And then what you can do is if you really liked this style, you can go over here to the left and click clone block. And you can use that same style again, maybe change the color of the background, um, make it a little bit different than the one that you had before, make this blue. And then my next subclaim might be there are many museums in Washington to visit. And then I would give my three different examples of three different museums that you could go to. Um, and then if you scroll down, this one here is an interesting one. It lets you um, do a versus. So this block you can compare two things. Maybe you can compare the weather to another area or you could compare two different types of you know foods. You could do some comparisons with this one. Um, and so then you're pretty much, you know, after you get through all of your sections, you need at least three subclaims. And then at the very bottom is where you can do your section on interesting facts. And I want you to have at least three interesting facts about your location. So in total, you need six sections, one for your topic or your essential question, one for your claim, three subclaims. Each subclaim should have three examples, and then um, your last section should be your interesting facts. And once you finish that, you wanna make sure to delete any extra blocks, and you're ready to turn it in. So what you need to do when you're ready to turn it in is you go up here and click save, then you click share. You need to give your infographic a name, so I might just name mine the best vacation destination and click OK. And then um, after that, you just want to publish your infographic. So you'll click publish and you'll click public. That allows me to see it. Um, and then once you do that, you just simply need to copy and paste this URL into Canvas so that I can click on it and see your infographic. So once you've done that, you are finished. Thank you for listening and good luck.